How do everybody? It's Phil Lord Such here, and today I am playing Codename Matt. Now, Codename Matt came out in 1984 from Micro Mega Games. Now, it was programmed by Derek Brewster. I couldn't find his name, then I wrote it down. Derek Brewster, and Derek Brewster wrote such classics as Micro Matt 2. Uh, and Kenny Dagley, soccer manager. What else did I write down? We well, wrote Star Trek. No, I severely doubt Star Trek may have been officially licensed. Uh, now, Code Name Matt looks and plays like a, a very budget elite. Now, I did play Code Name Matt when I was younger. Uh, I lent it from the library. There's another library lending. Another 25p well spent, I have to add, because I did keep this out for the full two weeks from the library, if I remember rightly. I Now, Elite is a favourite of mine, and I do have it vacuum sealed upstairs in the loft, though I didn't buy Codename Matt. Uh, albeit, Codename Matt nowadays looks quite dated, and it does look like I'm flying through a Windows 95 uh, screensaver. It's still... It's still... In enjoyable to an extent. Uh, you've still got a number of controls, though I have to tell you, you need to load this in 48k. If you try and load it into 1 to 8k, it's going to crash to a listing. Uh, and no matter how many times you type run or load, it's going to crash. There's a number of controls to pick up. Uh, not so easy to use anymore. The, the targeting, albeit you can track any oncoming enemies, that looks surprising like a TIE Fighter. Uh, the targeting with the 6, 7, 8 and 9 and 0 to fire is a pain in the backside. But it's still got the element of fun to play. Uh, there's not much strategy in the classic Elite, however, this isn't the Elite. This is more of a uh, space hero fighter game. The, the premise of Codename Matt is uh, you're def defending the solar system against the Mayan invaders, hence the term MAT, Mission Alien Termination. Uh, you're dropped in as either a pilot or a commander. You get that choice. Uh, pilot, basically you get the, the grunt sort of idea of you fly around, you're told there's an attack on, say, Pluto, so you fly to Pluto or one of the moons, and you defeat the ships if possible and then you're told there's an attack somewhere else so you bring up the star chart you fly over there you batter the ships or they batter you and so on and so on so if you get damaged then you can fly to a planet and get yourself healed well you don't fly to one you practically limp to a planet because they do damage you uh, but if you choose commander you from what I could see you then take on more of a strategic role but I always favoured the pilot even as my uh, young whippersnapper back then when I was nine years old on its release I always favoured the pilot uh, as I mentioned earlier the controls aren't the easiest to use now I don't remember them being so tricky when I was younger if anything I remember me being an ace pilot when I was younger, but now with the 6, 7, 8, 9, 6 and 7 being left and right and 8 and 9 being inverted, so 8 goes up, 9 goes down, if I remember, uh, and then 0 is to fire. As you can see, I'm fighting a TIE fighter with some yellow cooches here. Uh, it was a pain in the backside. The targeting system is an excellent idea though, so if you take your targeting on, when it goes behind you, or in front of you in this case, it will automatically switch view so you don't have to turn your ship around on do 180 uh, it will do automatically for you however lining up your crosshairs to find the ship is a nightmare there's no missile lock on or anything like that you get try and get your ship into the square or the crosshairs and then you shoot and with the controls here it's a bit of a pain in the backside I have to come to a dead stop just to try and shoot it because with any movement going on you've got no chance uh, but like I say they look like TIE fighters and if I was nine years old again I'd probably love it but now flying through this Windows 95 screensaver it's not got the same love as I did have for it 
but it's still cool. I still, I know it's pilot, but it's not as great. So, did you play Codename Matt? Did you have fun with Codename Matt? Did you write down all the keys? Like I had to on a piece of paper here in front of me. And let me know in the comments below. Did you prefer Elite over Codename Matt as I did? Uh, though even that, that was a far more trickier. Yes, this was a budget label, I admit. But still, it was enjoyable. It was still... Ace Fighter Pilot Extraordinaire, but it just wasn't elite, but still great. So leave your comments below, and this is Furlough Touch saying goodbye, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheerio, bye bye.